Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Bava, and I'm playing some more Faithless Looting decks. Um, I'm playing the Bant mid-range deck provided by Archivald over on the Faithless Looting article. It's not that one, it's this one. Uh, check it out, magicgatheringstrat.com. And we'll keep this. We got uh, green, white, and blue mana. So uh, the goal was to make Wedge and shard decks, uh, three color decks, basically, um, in honor of cons of Tark here. Lambda Man moles to four, and when this happens, and then just for fun room, people usually concede. And then he's probably not going to come back. If you ever do that, and you really want information, you want to make sure you start just so you can see what your opponent's playing. Because if you're going to go in sideboard, you might as well try and put in some good cards. Um, Alright, well he, he came back. Um, now we have a bad hand. We've got a one lander with a pilgrim into a steward. So we'll actually keep this. If he's playing a lot of removal, it's not going to work out for us. Alright, so Lambda Man gets blocked by Lambda Man. Um, no, I always forget where this goes. Buddies, clan, and chat. Lambda Man. On my block list, along with these people. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's try this again. Um, hard to find a game in the Just for Fun room, so I don't appreciate people wasting my time. And we may see if we can find one in the... Oh, we'll play this guy. Okay. Perfect. Let's use our fingers properly. Alright, put that over there. I wish I would just stay there. We'll play first. Um... So strange. We'll keep this. And... <clears throat> Get a pilgrim and go. Our opponent is Niji91 and he plays a swamp. Just because we're in the just for fun room doesn't mean we're not going to play tier one decks. But you never know. It's not a tier one deck yet. Um, mm -hmm. White, blue, or green. All right. So we can do this eh, eh, over here. <clears throat> draw a card which isn't very exciting um, we can surely swing with our pilgrim And see what our opponent does about that. Will he trade his rats? I've got lots of mana. I'm not worried about my pilgrim at the moment. Oh. Okay, I'm an idiot. Because I wanted to get my sure blade. But now we can't. We can't actually do anything. Because uh, I'm not used to having mana dorks out there. And let's go, opponent. Come on. All right. We did something.
<clears throat> he spent two minutes playing a land and a rats and not blocking. Yep, he's going to kill my pilgrim and gain two life. Hit me for one. Okay. Mm. Yeah, it's not very exciting. Um, I could get the Bant Sure Blade, but I think I'll just memory lapse for a while. Well, um, all right. Hmm. I take it back. It'd be better to be able to memory lapse to protect him. To protect him, I need him on the field. Um, so we'll risk a turn in which he might just eat removal, uh, which is likely in mono black. We've got 26 creatures in here, so we'll see. Yep. <clears throat> yes, you. Okay. Verdict rats, rats cure death touch. More death touch. <clears throat> um, so we have a Simic Guild Gate. We'll get an Azorius guild gate. I'm trying to decide what I think of memory lapse. Hmm. <clears throat> I think I wish I had mana leak, but I'm not sure. Two from the rats. Safe hold elite would be pretty good. Curse of chains. What else are we going to do? Let's memory lapse that. You get to draw it again. That's that. Right. <clears throat> My turn. Deputy of Acquittals. I can flash that in. Simic, Guildgate. Pass, 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 pass. Pass my whole turn. Rats. <clears throat> well, should I? Should I not? Should I? Should I? Ah, so there. Save another one. That would be somewhat funny. Now he's cycling. He's going to draw that sign in blood, but he can't cast it this turn, so that works out well for me. Blue, white. Hmm, that's something. Blue. Oh. Well, let's do it this way. Blue, white. The 
problem with these guys, the Esper Stone Blade and the Bant Shore Blade, is that you really need to have two creatures out. And sometimes, in the world of Popper, it's hard enough to have one creature out against something like Mono Black Control. <clears throat> um, if you lose that creature, then they're a bit overcosted because uh, if you don't have two um, out, then he's just a 2 1 without flying for two and two color. It's a little challenging. The answer, of course, is that you can have non creatures. Um, Curse of Chains, those uh, outposts or trading posts or whatever that we were playing with, banners from cons. Those aren't multicolor. Maybe they are. Um, Grey Merchant, yep. For four. Hmm. That's no good. Yeah. 20 lands, so I assume we're getting a little flooded. The only thing I don't like about the just for fun room is that people play pretty slowly. Um, but it's better than playing against mono blue control in the tournament practice room, because that's just demoralizing. Um, it's looking pretty bleak for us. I don't think we block. Well, Cuba Gang's not very scary. We discard our planes. We got a sign in blood. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> um, we're dead to corrupt. And a few hits here. He's not attacking. What? I think he messed up. Unless he's just going to. Rage against the dying of the light. I figure all the Phyrexians are secretly tortured goth poets. Kill that guy. Hmm. Yep. Hey, look at you. All right. Let's not be silly now. Um, Circle of Protection Red, a lone missionary, some coast watchers, some negates, a moment's peace. I guess we'll take the Lana War Knight and this dude. And hell, we can grab the Curse of Chains. <clears throat> Armadillo Cloak is just inviting myself to get two for one. So. We'll take those out. Pretty easy choice. Would you like to play first? Yes. Would you like to keep this? We got all three colors, three land. We got stuff. We'll keep. Um, we'll lead off with the guild gate, and then we can play. Doesn't matter which one we play. Uh, we'll play the Esper Stormblade first, so we can attack for three in the air, hopefully. More likely to get him with evasion. First strike will probably be fine too, but should be all right. <clears throat> Nothing this turn anyway. It's 
So you know F6, that's all we need here is an F6. But it's a tricky client to learn, I understand. Um, island, white, blue, you. A black cat. Hmm. Not very scary. Oh, look at that. Uh, forest, do a white green. We'll hit you for four in the air, that's kind of exciting. Dead weight. Yeah. This card's a card at random. Should have played my Bant Sherblade first. I got my memory lapse. It's kind of okay. Um, blue, white. Okay. I have no memory lapse. Now, I do have Curse of Chains, but it's not going to help me on his turn. Now, I do have a memory lapse. That's nice. <laughs> Verdict. rather hit you for five. I know you're going to draw that again. Go away. Go away, verdict. Now he's going to verdict me, which is fine. No? Now's a good time to do it, actually. No, no. More now. Don't let me attack. Oh. Now you can't stop those. Yeah. Eh, should have done it earlier. Do, 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 bah. All right. Got him to six. Hmm. He stopped taking land. Hmm. 
holding removal for my turn. Four. If he verdicts me again, he's never going to learn his lesson, is he? Yeah, well. It's exalted. Uh, you want to stop that trigger from going off. Gray Merchant. It's a big old stinker. Okay. But not very effective on his own. Curse of Chains is going to be good because it's going to be another multicolored spell for me. Oh. Doesn't do anything right now, though. What a stupid card. Um, yeah. What's that other one I like? That uh, there's another multicolored enchantment. Crystallize. Boom. This one. Yeah, I like this card. It's also in our colors. It's also multicolored. And it's less stupid than Curse of Chains. It's a little harder to cast. <clears throat> uh, but I prefer that to Curse of Chains. The reason Curse of Chains sees more play is because you can play it in mono white or mono blue. But if we're not worried about that, Crystallization's a better card. All right, so he's chaining gray merchants. We're drawing land. Um, this pretty much sucks. Yeah. I think that other enchantment is also multicolored. Is it a ninja? Yeah. Okay. Dead weight for my sure blade. Typhoid rats. Oh, they get a block. Huh. Ninety-nine. It's not over yet. But it looks pretty crappy for me. Blue. Creature Shadow. Hmm. No, that's not it. Yep. I'll try and remember what that other card is in a second. We can block the Okiba Gang. Unless he kills my Sure Blade.
but I feel like that Monty Python character says, I'm not dead yet. Oh, I feel better. Um, but I think they pretty much clonk him over the head and take him off anyway. So there's the ultimate gray merchant. Hey, look, you were my next draw again. All right. Um, Archibald, I'm sorry to say I am somewhat unimpressed with the Bant mid-range deck. Um, it just doesn't really have enough going for it. Uh, mid-range needs bigger bombs, I think, to really be awesome. And I had to look it, down, look it up. Um, this is the other enchantment I was thinking of, but it is not a multicolor enchantment. Uh, so crystallization makes more sense, I think, than Curse of Chains. Um, this one would make sense, except we we do want a multicolor enchantment in there for uh, for our dudes. So uh, yeah, I'd put the crystallizations in. I think if you want to try the list instead of the Curse of Chains. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, once again, I was playing this Bant mid-range deck provided by Archibald for Faithless Looting number eight. Check it out on magicgatheringstrat.com, and please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time.